which marks the observance of National Developmental Disabilities Awareness Month. That's a time to promote awareness and eliminate barriers for people who have developmental disabilities. WSFA 12 News reporter Bethany Davis is live at the Alabama Council on Developmental Disabilities this morning. Bethany, what is the theme for the month? Yes, yeah, so the theme for this National Developmental Disabilities Awareness Month is a world of opportunities. This is Daryl Powell, who is the executive director of the Alabama Council on Developmental Disabilities. Let's talk a little bit about that theme. What's the meaning behind it? Well, when you reflect on the world of opportunities and the theme behind it, the meaning is simple. Celebrate our people and to remove the obstacles to community living for people that faced with um, intellectual and developmental disability. What kind of change are we hoping this month accomplishes? Well, we're hoping that this, this whole campaign really creates an opportunity for people to have more inclusive communities where people are able to live in their own communities, have their own homes with the supports they need, more accessible transportation, not only to have a job, but to have careers as well. What can we be doing a little differently to create a world of opportunity? Well, that's, that's a good question. Really, we can all join together to help remove those obstacles to um, barriers, for the people that are living with um, development disability, just removing those obstacles um, so that they can live independently, live on their own. People want to have families. People want to live independently. So just working together to you know help remove those obstacles. Yeah, remove those obstacles, maybe change our way oh, of yeah. thinking a little bit. About 2.5% yeah. or 120,000 Alabamians are living with or were born with developmental disabilities. So this month, this campaign really does serve a need for a lot of people right here, guys. All right, Bethany, and the council has a list of resources and services available. We'll get a link for you on our website, WSFA.com.